Edward during around uh, 15 years mm -hmm. as a computer scientist in a competitive and big company. On the project and big project, now I have the habit to erase the, 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 the board. This is my the teacher. <laughs> I like a clean, a clean board when I present my essay. Yes, I divide my presentation in three parts. The first one is simulator Jacob introduced. Uh, it's more um, a mathematical approach. Uh, if you are interested, I put the mathematics with you because I'm a mathematics teacher. It's my, it's my, it's, I have no problem with it. And tell me what I'm Understand what is 
one hour days for my verification. Okay? Starting with what is the formal verification? It's a very basic presentation. Formal verification is simply the proof, the act of proving or disproving the correctness of an implemented algorithm with respect of given formal properties and using formal method of logic. Yes, it is the simulator. It is a physical it simulates the physical world, sun falling on the ground, forming a pile, and sometimes uh, there are avalanche, there are events like avalanche, and the grain fall on the on the pile. Rules 
I think it is interesting to, to make exercise in the time of proof. Right. Use rules is equals to the Yes? No? What you expect used for the simulator? Code. You are familiar or know with this code? I'll try it next. Let's show. Uh, no, I think the plus I conclude with my code. My code is written for you to make a site. I will put on the connect. Your feedback is, is, uh, is welcome. No, the theory of the verification for my verification. Begin with uh, a three. It's sure. It's the biggest. It, it made a first program, a pro first proof at the end of 15. But it is a little paper. It's a not known paper, but not job. First, job the first approach in this, in this way is done by Freud in the end of the 60s. He used a lot of vegetative assertion to make a proof on the flow chart. But this is not um, a system of proving, it's a practical case. So it's a suspicious group. So it's uh, our, the biggest, the, the, the first, the first uh, paper about format verification is done by uh, our. He, he set a logical system to make proof with internal rules, but it's not complete. It's the extra complete. Five years later, and with Dextra, is a competition with Dextra, we're able now to prove totally the correctness of the program. It is due of uh, the fraud, um, the R logic. In certain cases, it isn't. Uh, it is impossible to prove infinite loop. Ending the program with the data strong. I think it's possible to go to the end of the program. It's a very yeah, lot of problem. What is important to, 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 to consider? I propose to you to, to come back at the, the first year of your studies and to remember that a program may act on the data. The purpose of the program is to modify the data. And then there are two aspects of the program. We have the, the computational aspect and the data aspect. And it's important to consider all the data change with a particular uh, statement. And now, for this purpose, we need to define our language, like data, the format computation, a very, very simple language. Only set uh, a few, I define for my language, my imperative language, like data, the language I use to modify the content of the, the data, the system. It's the expression, like a number, variable, or more complex uh, transcription with operation. And I propose some statements. I skip. We, the, the, we, we, we do nothing. Assignment, composition, uh, if structure, and yeah, no structure. Very simple language. Uh, this, this, this construction, we're able to explain the, the logic of the hour logic. But the same text is not enough. We need to understand all the, the, the language, the open imperative language, modify the data. 
because the, the verification of data is we need to control when we make a proof. We need to, to understand how the data from the state of the system very, very is the the the, the, the camera is the error to the program is how the, the, the statement change the data the states. But we need the semantics to understand all the all the statements change the data the states. And we need simply to evaluate an expression and we need to know all the states. The sigma is the the, the complete set of data, complete set of variables, and a series of instructions S. And when we execute the next instruction with the sequence of instruction, the data, the whole data is changed in sigma code, and it remains. We remove the executed instruction, the executed statement. Okay? If you execute more than one in the statement, well, it's we use simply the star who means we use a lot of statements who reach the state, the value of the variables, and who give it remains some instruction, some statements. And the program is generating instruction when we reach the skip statement. Okay. Then we have no inside tax and semantics <coughs> to know how to, to represent the how to manage the way of the data change regarding to, to the, the, the statements. For this we need uh, the first order logic, the third logic of predicates, we made with the this logic the condition, the verification condition, like the condition, the condition, uh, the condition like um, invariant loop, loop invariant, sorry, uh, loop invariant, I don't know. This, this is the uh, predicates. Defined with this syntax. The predicates is a function, a logical function. It's not complex, I think. The semantics is the same, it's the same approach <coughs> than the uh, impact in language. We need to evaluate if a predicate is valid or not. It's a formula, a logical formula, is true or not, is valid or not. We can use the expression of our imperative language. For example, uh, x is greater than <coughs> like in Azar. Example, e there would be <coughs> x greater or equal to, to zero, for example. It's an expression written with our imperative language. Why not? We, we, we need this one to create the first condition, for example, the verification condition. And we could uh, make compu logical computation with uh, an mm -hmm. or not implication, for example. And to say for the, the, the we need to to say if a predicate is valid for a given state. Is finished? Okay. Okay, cool. I do more. Yes, with this, with this logic, we could create um, <coughs> we create a logic, our logic. We, 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 we must state the triplet, the R triplet. It is the precondition before, must be checked before 
the execution of the statements, and the first condition Q uh, must be satisfied that the data, sorry, the first condition, the S must be the resulting state, and the resulting state must be satisfied the first condition Q. Okay. From this, from this, uh, the rules how oh, I have uh, given to us, for example, the precondition is the same as the first condition when we do the thing. When we make an assignment, the first condition, we need to we need to test, to check if we are able to to perform in the same line in the precondition uh, states, and the, the assignment is distinct states, the first condition. For example, here uh, we need we add one to x, uh, y, y is uh, 43, and we need to check if x more y is equal to <coughs> 3. Ah, yes, sorry. I terminate, sorry. If you are interested by this logic, I, uh, I, 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 I respond to your question. Can I tell it? I'm oh, sorry, my, my remark is to your presentation. Yes. Of the, uh, the 
by Trevor. He controls all the two works. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope I have a lot of things to, 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 to tell you, and uh, I hope you enjoy my, my presentation. Do you have questions? It was so, so difficult or so simple. <laughs> I hope the second, second option.